Hey there from Addicts. Welcome to the channel where we delve deep into the town's mysteries, dissect every episode, and unravel the secrets that lurk in the shadows. If you're as obsessed with this mind-bending show as I am, hit that subscribe button and join the channel. Opening scene. Tabitha and Jim's tense confrontation. Jim wakes up and notices Tabitha staring out the window. He asks what she's doing, and she says she had a nightmare and doesn't want to talk about it. She says, I should have done more. Jim tries to comfort her by saying she did her best. Why did Jim say that? Tabitha lost it. She accuses him of not being honest with her. Why did Tabitha say that? Jim accuses Tabitha of running away to save the children because she wants to grieve Thomas's death alone. She wants to know what she could have done versus trying to feel better. Jim says, you want a mind reader? I stayed to care for the children while you're off in La La Land. He gets back in bed and Tabitha calls him a coward. Jim wrestles with sheets. He gets up and aggressively yells that's why she wanted the divorce. She means mug him with a smile and say, you think you were the knight in shining armor and the perfect husband. Now we are getting to the meat and potatoes. Tabitha wanted Jim to be present while she was grieving their baby son's death. She keeps seeing the bracelet she made Jim when they first started dating. She wants to know where the man she fell in love with is. I forgot that the monster shrieks so loud to tell them to shut up. Where are you going? Downstairs. Also, I would be mad too if I had to share a full-size bed. This scene isn't just a fight. It's a raw exposition of the fractures forming in their marriage under the immense pressure of the town. Tabitha, grappling with the trauma of the children and the boy in white, feels isolated and misunderstood by Jim. While well-intentioned, his attempts to comfort her come across as dismissive and invalidating. This highlights a fundamental disconnect in their communication styles and coping mechanisms. Tabitha needs emotional support and acknowledgement of her fear, while Jim, perhaps as a defense mechanism, seeks to maintain a sense of normalcy and control. A better response to Tabitha is, you feel like you failed or you're worrying you didn't do enough. Tabitha looks for validation and Jim gaslights her slightly by denying her reality. Tabitha experiences the same thing with Donna. She wants to explore her feelings of failure, but she's reminded about her children. I don't think Tabitha wasn't thinking about Ethan and Julie. She probably feels she failed them too. The death of a child can be a devastating blow to a marriage, often acting as a catalyst for its demise. The immense grief and trauma can create a chasm between partners, leading to communication breakdowns, differing coping mechanisms, and a profound sense of disconnection. Blame, guilt, and resentment can fester, further eroding the foundation of the relationship. In From, Jim and Tabitha's marriage is a poignant example of this tragic reality. The loss of their son, Thomas, casts a long shadow over their relationship. Their differing ways of processing grief and their inability to communicate effectively create a rift between them. Tabitha's emotional vulnerability clashes with Jim's stoic attempts to maintain control, leading to frequent arguments and a growing sense of isolation. Tabitha's emotional vulnerability and Jim's stoic control lead to frequent arguments and growing isolation in their marriage. The town's horrors intensify their unresolved grief, forcing them to confront the fragility of their bond. Moments of tenderness exist, but the underlying tension and pain threaten their relationship. Can their love endure the weight of shared tragedy and the town's darkness? Jim and Tabitha's opening scene is filled with raw emotional honesty, showcasing captivating performances by Ian Bailey and Catalina Sandino Moreno. With her expressive eyes and fiery Latina spirit, Moreno embodies Tabitha's vulnerability and frustration with a passion that could melt glaciers. The subtleties of their acting reveal the fragile state of their relationship. The scene is a testament to the power of nuanced acting, where even the smallest gestures and inflections speak volumes about the character's inner turmoil and the fragility of their relationship. What did you think of their argument? Do you think their marriage can survive the horrors of the town? Let me know in the comments. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more from breakdowns, theories, and deep dives into the show's mysteries. Until next time, stay safe in Fromville and peace.